and at Instagram, we are focused to build a platform and continue to build platform features that caters to what is this Generation Z is looking to or looking for. Original content created from even an emerging creator will be shown to some of the people that they don't follow. Instagram is where both Bharat and India come to play. The content creation business is booming thanks to one of the most used social media apps, Instagram, which has not only provided a platform to millions of its creators, but has also given the aspiration to create to billions of its users. And now, the Meta-owned app has rolled out a bunch of new features to aid content creation. They have also launched Creator Lab, which is an educational resource for budding creators, featuring some of India's top influencers like Abir Vyas, Govind Kaushal and Meetika Dwivedi as an extension of their flagship Born on Instagram program. As the creator economy continues to grow at a rapid rate in our country, we speak to the Director of Global Partnerships at Meta India, Paras Sharma, about his perspectives on some of the ongoing trends within the landscape. If you look at the creator economy, or if you look at the creator eco- ecosystem as per, there, there are multiple pillars to it, right? The first at the core is that where the creators are coming from, what they are producing, how they are engaging with the audience, And what is the nature of content? If we look at Meta and our journey with the creator ecosystem from last many years has been built on the foundational principle, how are we enabling and building this industry for the future? And that started the journey many years back with one of the foundation programs born on Instagram, which was centered around that can we make the education of being a creator, of getting a, become a creator, widely accessible and easily understandable to as many number of people across India so that it doesn't remain as a domain of select few who have access to it in, I would say, top few cities. And that effort resulted in Born on Instagram program, creating content in multiple languages, being available for anyone who can access it, and taking them through a course of, multi-module course of, how to become a successful creator. And over the years, our job is that move to the next step, how do we enable them? There's an education part of it, there's enabling part of it. And that comes to some of the core questions of what do creators expect from us? They want to know and get better at the creation process, to be able to show their creative expressions. They want to see how they can distribute or get a higher distribution or reach for their content. They want to connect with their fans and audiences and they want to connect with other opportunities and they want to find an opportunity through which they can realize the economic value of the audience franchise through monetization. Absolutely. And when we talk about create ecosystem, whether we do it through our programs, uh, on Instagram, whether we do it through our platform, which is on the different features for enabling creative expression, the different ranking mechanisms for getting the content distributed to a larger audience or uh, recently launched IG Creator Marketplace, again a platform through which we get creators and brands together and finding opportunities for creators to collaborate with some of the 10 pole big activities whether it's a cricket world cup or whether it's connecting with the opportunities to the public figures, influencers, whether Indian or global. And also, last but not the least, how can we continue to advocate the importance and significance that the creators have in the ecosystem through our friends in media like you, who who can go and tell the story so more people get aware of it, as well as in various industry forums. So our role, therefore, spans across all those four pillars. Absolutely. So being at the center of this booming creator economy, when you shared your insights on different demographics and we were having this interesting discussion about Gen Z in the creator economy, being a creator or being an influencer, being an interesting career choices that they make, how do you see uh, Gen Z creators playing out in this field, like that particular demographic? Because India is the country with the largest population and the youth is only taking it forward. So what do you have to say about the Gen Z creators? So, I would look at it first, this generation, Generation Z as we call it, both from a lens of a user creator, right? And if you look at it, why is this generation so unique? 
there are many aspects to it. They are the biggest experimenters. They are fastest to adapt and they are fastest to pivot. Their attitudes, behavior and usage characteristics have the most significant impact on the culture and that culture therefore drives the content. And at Instagram, we are focused to build a platform and continue to build platform features that caters to what is this Generation Z is looking to or looking for and how can we enable that both in terms of how they discover content as well as they create content. They are the ones who are able to and within the Gen Z, they are creators who are able to identify those cues of the prints or the cultural forces that this generation is experiencing first and they are able to then give it an expression or a voice and their ability of giving them an expression and a voice which has significant impact on influence on the larger group of people whom they influence and that's where our role then comes in that how do we enable these creators through our platforms and products which they can amplify their creative expressions. When you mention your platforms and products, do you want to shed light upon what are your future plans with the booming uh, creative economy in India? What are some avenues that you're thinking of investing on uh, with the growth in creative economy? So as I mentioned, it, it's, uh, it's not one thing. Uh, it's always a concurrent, uh, I would say, effort on all the pillars which I talked about. And I'll, I'll just share with you, for example, right? So let's take about creation. Uh, how do we help them to create? So we recently launched Creator Labs. It's an extension to the Born on Instagram philosophy that how do we enable the creator ecosystem at the foundational level. Creator Lab is now a, a content, a series of content pieces which are educational. However, spoken by the creators for the creators as how they have traversed through and are traversing through their journey of being a creator. How they are using different features as any creator would use and what are the tips and tricks and the most updated. So that's a continuing part in addition to Born on Instagram platform. So that's on the creation side. If we look at distribution side, there is a always a need and always a want of any creator that they would want their content to have the highest distribution and highest reach. Absolutely. And we continue to work on our ranking and recommendation system that how do we enable the larger discovery of the original content, not only from the creators who have already established a large audience franchise, but also for the emerging creators. And that has taken shape in form of now, an original content created from even an emerging creator will be shown to some of the people that they don't follow or who they, who they don't follow. As in like the, the audience may not be following that creator, but they will be, they will get a chance to get exposed to the content which this emerging creator is doing. That's a, I would say, a significant attempt towards giving all form of creators and all kinds of creators, including the emerging creators, an opportunity to get discovered for their content to get discovered. That's a continuing part that we do in distribution. We create more and more opportunities for creators to engage more deeply and meaningfully uh, with their users, with their followers, which is also the need from the Generation Z or Gen Z audience that they want to connect with the people that they follow and they want to comment and connect on it. We continue to launch features, whether it's an ability to have comment on the stories, whether there's an ability to include different ways that music that you include in your creative expression and then your audience can engage, whether on Instagram broadcast channel to have an ability to have a live session with your audience or to create your own chat themes. These are the ways and that's what's happening on the platform. Then we also create opportunities that how do we get the creators to connect with each other. There's always this thing that while you are focused on building your content, but you want to get inspiration, you want to do things with along other creators who may be from the similar genre or different genre and both of whom could get benefited and inspired from each other. Collaboration. Exactly. So there's a yeah. collaboration is a huge thing and the collaboration happens in multiple ways on product which is through remix and various other ways that you can do it as well as off platform we continue to engage with creators across different communities through rl events where they get to connect with each other find new ideas ideate on them and create it and and the last but not the least in monetization yeah. uh, creators want to get monetized for the audience franchise that they're building the way we look at it is i would say two broad areas one is how can we enable creators to continue to have strong and deeply engaged community. 
because the monetization that the creators look for is obviously working with brands and branded content and the brands would be more inclined to work with creators who have an engaged communities who are able to tell the story in the most expressive and creative manner so our effort first pillar is that how do we first continue to enable and enhance the ways that the creators can express or tell their story give them more and more features so their storytelling gets more rich the engagement increases with uh, with their fan community and therefore they the brands find them extremely important depending on the message fit the Absolutely. second thing is how do we through our own product and platform enable that opportunity for them to be connected with brands and that happens through either a program that we run with select brands and creators like for example we run multiple editions of program called made on reels or we do it through product enablement which is the ig creator marketplace where creators can now match with brands and they can find a purpose together brands can discover creators creators can discover brands which are on their platform so that's a product solved to it then we do a platform solve which is born on instagram born on instagram continues to find creators and continues to give to them opportunities for brands to find them and work with them and then we look at some of the other ways through which on platform what are the new features which are there where creators can get directly monetized by their fans so whether it's subscriptions where mm-hmm. a creator feel that they have a content which is different and unique and where their super fans will be willing to pay for it their subscription then we have also not a subscription driven but if there's a piece of content which a creator wants to uh, get recognized or a fans want to recognize their creators in a in some way and manner we have gifts so there are four different ways through which we enable the monetization so how is the audience uh, based monetization working in india right now is the indian audience ready for it are they willing to pay to watch their favorite creators content on instagram so the way that i would say is that uh, if you look at the entire content ecosystem in india uh, we all are part of that content ecosystem right advertising funded content continues to be the largest driving force for content consumption and therefore the branded content is the largest source for creator revenue not only in india across the globe and Absolutely. significantly largest right so therefore the largest effort should be from the creator side and our side is how do we enable that creator telling how do we enable the expression and they able to that they can enrich their stories in a better manner for the brands to connect with them Right. And then of course there are different other models like subscription and gifts and with them and so as AI has become the talk of the town after the roll out of various generative AI models including Meta's own Llama 3 the question arises how much of a threat is AI to content creators compared to the opportunity it poses for easing out the content creation process AI I feel is bringing both threats and opportunities to creators uh whether it comes to threats from artificial influencers <laughs> which is a very new concept or whether it's threats of deep fakes being created on their content or whether it's opportunity from ai to write scripts for you to help you out in ideation so can you do a swot analysis for us uh on ai uh, for content creators swot analysis is a very uh, i can say marketing term and let's have a uh, like cool chat and i'll talk about of this course. yeah 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 of course yeah see any technology uh, and i'm sure that i don't want to dumb down the audience any technology comes with it both the opportunities and challenges from horse car to car there was an opportunity that you can go faster but there was an also a threat that you can crash with each other right so i won't therefore say that this is something so unique for ai for any new technology has both ways right and again for the for the audience uh, ai has been the bedrock of meta's uh, products of many number of years uh, our feed on facebook was driven by machine learning and ai what we are talking and i know uh, probably that's what you are referring more to is the generative ai or the gen ai and and therefore how do we see it from meta's point of view and you brought few areas so let me talk about those three there are three lenses to it or three ways to look at it like how this is enhancing the knowledge of people and creators per se how is amplifying their creative expression and the third aspect is that how is it working as an assistant for them right and and therefore we see it play out from our offerings and services whether it's a foundational technology and services that we have like pytorch or the platform services 
like Llama, which is the open AI, and then the creative expressions, which are creative tools using Gen AI, right? So we therefore see that there's a role in each of these areas. And most interestingly, and most, I would say, the latest of that is the Meta AI, which coincidentally for which India is the largest market globally. Uh, uh, and Meta AI is the foundation piece where we're seeing creators or larger user base engaging with it which is working as an assistant for them to get more knowledge and things about it, which then becomes as an ingredient for them in content creation. Your part about that, okay, is it deep fake and other things? There are multiple ways. We are super committed. Uh, uh, and I'll give you very broadly three areas to uh, for you and the users to just get an idea about it. Any content which is using, when I say any content, large pieces of content which are using our platform generative AI tools, gets labeled for the audience to differentiate between the one and the other. Then we are working with association which is called Partnership for AI, it's industry forum, how to get images or media which is created by AI generative AI tools which are not of other platform from the bigger companies and the bigger company is also part of that forum so that we can also start to figure out commonly industry accepted I would say signature to identify that content. We're not stopping there. We're also working with the IPTC, which is International Press Telecom Council Principles and what they call CPA, C2PA, which is uh, Covenant and Provenance Authentication to even there are invisible watermarkers or invisible signals in a generatively manipulated content or created content, so how we detecting. can work detecting all of that. Okay. So we are committed across all different levels to be able to find a way and this is a weight, this technology is a very high end, it's in the phase of evolution, but our commitment is in each of these areas. Paris, how do you view these AI based artificial influencers that have now become a thing on Instagram? I would uh, be reticent to say that they become a thing on Instagram. I would say that the creative expression will continue to evolve as we have seen over the years. Different creative tools have different roles, they will continue to give people an opportunity to amplify their creative expression and give people an opportunity to engage with. But the human element continues to be the driving force. We see AI as a working as a great assistant in enablement. Due to the increased internet penetration, the tier two and three regions grab a larger pie of content creation in India. Regional influencers are no less than superstars within their own local communities. How does a global giant like Meta view this? I think some of the facts, uh, uh, just to, and I think we've spoken about it last a lot in last couple of years. Uh, the most significant growth, and it's not story of today or last six months, but last many years, in from the creators who are creating content are coming from tier two, tier three towns already. So it's not a new news. The highest amount of content consumption of the content created from them is also coming from tier 2, tier 3 towns. So Instagram is where both Bharat and India come to play and it's been at the play for many years. The influencer ecosystem is expanding in India, but the guidelines and regulations are yet to follow. In the lack of the same, how does a platform like Instagram regulate and encourage self-regulation for its creators? There are multiple ways. There are community guidelines, which are platform community guidelines which any user creator needs to follow. Those community guidelines are based on multiple principles that we want our users to be exposed to and get the most relevant, meaningful, as well as the right content for them. So any creator who's creating content, they follow it or, or they get notified if their content is not following the guidelines. Then we work with various industry forums, anything which is new emerging on in, in terms of content guidelines. So for example, we work very closely with ASCII, which is Advertising Standard Council of India. Uh, we have brought creators on ASCII forums for them to get engaged and understand more. We've got an ASCII new guidelines and principles and educational material on Born on Instagram. In fact, we are one of the only platform, if not, uh, who work very closely to get the latest which is coming from any regulation, any guidelines, and we'll continue to engage with any such thing. Uh, we are part of different forums where we speak and discuss and bring both point of views together. Right. On to our last question, Paris, which is about the future. Moving forward from here, what are your projections with the creator economy in India 
and what are your future plans with say monetization for creators or what are you going to do in this domain to grow it further see i've, I've mentioned few of them already can uh, like in terms of a commitment to growing this community and i would say uh, just as a round up today there are four pillars to it right creation which any creator wants how do we continue to bring new features and tools through which they can continue to be able to tell their story in a much better way and and we talk today about some of the features which we released today and we'll continue to have more on that that's an ongoing process okay. right distribution how do we ensure that more and more original content and emerging creators get access to a larger audience and audience is able to see their content a ranking and recommendation system continues to evolve in fact more than 50% of content which currently people see on Instagram is enabled by AI and we continue to work on that if you look at connection how do we ensure that the creator is able to connect with their community better and vice versa the community is also able to connect with creator better and we have the different features we talked about how people are able to engage with the creator content as well as like the surfaces in channels instagram broadcast channel where creators can find form a super fan community and engage with them and creating both i would say virtual and ir opportunities for creators to create uh, connection we talked about monetization and as told that whether it's a launch of ig creator marketplace where creators and brands can come together whether it's enabling creator and brand handshake through born on instagram whether it's testing features and building out subscription and gifts and at the same part of time being the biggest advocate for the creator ecosystem for the industry with brands with clients with agencies and bringing the world class global opportunities for creators to collaborate with the biggest public figures or creators across the globe uh, to find inspiration 